But one one good nade is all we need. One freaking nade. Oh my god, it was so it was so close, everyone. It was so close. Hello everyone, my name is DGP, and welcome back to another episode of Wooden Battles. Now there's been two updates. As everyone knows, there's the grenaders, but now they have introduced a Gatling gun. And I haven't seen it yet, but that sounds freaking amazing. Anyways, but we're not going to see it quite yet. So they've, I, I didn't realize this, but they've added more challenges. So let's get right into this. So you know what, we'll do the grenader. And, oh, oh, what the hell? How am I supposed to do this? So this is the grenader. It looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, I actually haven't played or seen anything about this guy either, but he is a uh, new unit. Let me see. Will this work? Oh, yeah, it's been a while. Okay, hold on. Restart. Uh... Oh, no, restart clear units. Yes. I forgot to put him on defense. That explains everything. All right, so let me uh, let me try this. So it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, but that's because I basically did everything I possibly could. But now that there's more content, I'm I'm gonna make probably like a good two more video. Oh, that I'll, I'll make like a good two videos or so. But god damn it, that huh, that kind of sucks. I'm not sure if I like the uh, the Grenader. I'm going to be perfectly honest. He just kind of threw it. It hit one person. I, w I wonder... Uh, I'm kind of wondering how you're supposed to do this. So it takes out... Okay, so it, it blows up. Okay. Uh, we're going to clear units. So my guess is that you have to... Let, let me see here. So... I'm guessing that you have to... God, I keep l losing train of thought. I'm sorry. So I guess you have to uh, let these guys get really close or all jumbled up. I, I don't know. Bundled. Bundled up. There we go. And then you throw this grenade. I I don't know. I have no idea anymore. Let's see. Okay, so my my plan, or what I think you have to do to win this objective, is you have to let the enemy get really effing close, and, or not, never mind. Let me uh, clear units. Okay, so we can only have one grenader. Yeah, we can, we can only have one guy, and we are given 200 points worth of blocks. So, how are we going to do this? Maybe I'll put one block in front, and then I'll put this block right uh, here, maybe? About here? And then put this guy on defense, and we'll put him, like, right here. That way, the infantry will shoot the blocks. Or at least most of the bullets will hit the blocks. So, I'm not entirely sure. Let, let's see. Oh, no. I mean, it is work. Eh, it didn't work. It, it sure as hell didn't work. Alright, so, I, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. So, we have two groups of five. And they're, uh... So, I, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to get them all jumbled? I don't know why I keep saying jumbled. I... Really don't know why I keep saying that. We're just going to say it, though. Bundled up. So I don't I don't know if we're supposed to, like... So there's two clumps of infantry. Do we have to... I don't know. Are we supposed to... Maybe... Oh, maybe, maybe... Maybe I have to build cover. Maybe I have to do this. Is this a possibility? Can I build cover like this? Let's see. I, I, this might actually work. Probably not, but you know what? We're experimenting. So we're going to put him, like, right here. So there's two clumps of infantry, as we can all see. 
do we have to wait? Because as they're marching, they're getting closer to each other. Do I have to... Oh, he can throw over the wall. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. That changes everything. Okay. So we'll do this then. I had no idea that he could do that. Okay, so we're going to put him like right here. And then he can just throw over the wall. Anyways, what I was saying before was as they're marching, they're getting closer to each other. So do I have to wait for them to all clump up? And then basically that takes care of the problem? Or what? But I mean, okay, we figured out how to make him survive a little bit longer. So now I, I think I kind of figured this out. So... We're going to put the wall right here. And then we're going to put him, since he's got some pretty good damn range. I mean, he, he's got some stupidly good range for the grenader. So, we'll put him further back. And then when he throws the grenade, instead of it being an overshot, it should just hit the infantry. Like that. Yeah, there we go. That, ooh, that was a good one. That was a good nade. And that one's go- Oh, this could be it? This- Oh, really? It only killed one? Oh, that's such BS. Okay. So, it works. <laughs> we're, we're able to take out at least six to seven infantry. So, I mean, it, it, it's working. That, that was actually pretty good. That was a good need. There we go again. Oh, oh, okay, so... I'm kind of thinking here, alright? Maybe... Maybe we need... I don't... I, I really don't know what we need, because it's like... We, we need the wall. We definitely need that. But the thing is, the moment we lose the fur, uh, the one on top, the the wood pallet on top, it's all over for the uh, the grenader. There's nothing he can do. But let, let's see how far he can throw the grenade. So there, when does he? Okay, so he can throw it pretty far. That was a good nade. This this could be it. This could be the run. Ooh. Ooh, oh my god, it actually happened. Hell yeah. Now we have to go up against four cannons? What is this bullshit? What? I I hope this... Oh, wow. Okay. I will admit, though, they definitely made the... Uh, the developers made the challenges a lot harder. Because in my last episode where I was doing mainly just challenges, they were easy as hell. Like, I, I, it took me, like, maybe five minutes, and I was done with, like, all, all nine of them. I mean, it, it was kind of bad. But he's, he's definitely made these a lot better. So, how am I supposed to go up against four cannons? That, that's what's going to be kind of tricky. They are getting close to each other, though. As, the, as they're approaching, they're getting really close. So, maybe... Ooh. Oh, that was an overchuck. Yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna win that. Wait, where'd those two grenades come from? That was kinda weird. Oh those those weren't grenades, those were cannons. Okay. I see. I I see now. Never mind. Um I I, I don't know what to do here. I mean now now we know that the uh the grenader can overthrow over uh blocks let's see here could this work we need to like provide cover as much as possible so maybe probably won't work but you know let's give it a shot guys come on let's give it a go so we just have to wait for the cannons to get close like he all we need and i i feel like this is kind of luck based more than anything we just have to wait for them to get close to each other. And he needs to throw a good nade. Not, 
over chuck it like he just did but like that like that will that be i won't be the nade it, it actually did destroy two though so i'm gonna clear units because now i'm okay so he's got pretty good range from the looks of it yeah he's got some pretty good range and that is exactly what we need so we're gonna do the same thing whoops hold on all right, here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna make these kind of closer, like like so. There we go. About there. I think that'll be good. And then we're gonna put him like over. Uh, can I go a little bit further back? Let's put him like right by the flag. Let's see if this will work. So, anyways, I feel like this is more luck based because they just need to all get clumped up together, and then. He just needs to throw one good, uh, one good grenade, and they're all dead. At least so that's how it appears to be. So that didn't work at all. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Okay, so the bottom block keeps flying forward. So to prevent that, we'll do the same thing. But this time, oh, we'll move these right here try to basically barricade the blocks like I, I i don't want those blocks flying forward so so i think the bar I, I don't know it's it's like a minor barricade it works i guess i just need these like these guys get so close like they are right now if he just chucks one freaking nade I don't even know what happened there, but if you just, you just, you gotta chuck one nade, dude. Just one nade. And, oh, ooh. Un underpass it. It's so good. It can't fail. No! Damn it. Alright, we're gonna keep units. And he was too far away. Uh, we're gonna make sure this is on defense again. Where did he go? Oh, boy. Where'd my, uh,. Where'd he go? <laughs> well, that's that's just fantastic. Yep, okay. We're gonna restart, keep units. Oh, oh no, he's just gone. Oh, okay. That's always cool. Oh, okay. Um, I I don't know. Let's let's let's, let's figure this out. Let's do this together, everyone. Let's see. I, I'm going to put him right here. So he just needs... We need to figure out the maximum range where he can throw a grenade. Like, I keep moving him back f further and further. So that way we can, you know, kind of see how far can he throw back. I mean, that's pretty far. But the, the, the problem is, is his first grenade is always overthrown. Ooh, that's a good nade. Come on. Ooh, two cannons down. Let's go. <laughs> that's a good nade. Holy crap, we did it. That was easy. Not really. That, <laughs> that took a lot. So now we have two grenaders. That's pretty cool. So I think... Okay, so these are snipers. All right. These are snipers. So we're going to have to move it up as far as possible. You know what? Actually, hold on. Oh, I can't move those. Okay, hold on. No, no. I, I have an idea, everyone. I have an idea. So, like I said, we're dealing with snipers. These guys cannot... Uh, I don't think our grenaders have that great of range. So, we're going to have to move up front all the way. And I'm going to put these two guys like right here they're both on defense okay so there's some pretty good range so they could throw all the way over here okay okay all right so that that was a failed attempt so maybe we have to throw the grenades from here just maybe that way the snipers can't really hit us and then, yeah, okay, oh, 
The first two nades, they just, they're terrible. Oh. I don't know how to do this. Uh, keep units. We're going to keep them away from the block. Oh, this has to be on defense, so. Defense. And defense. So, stay away from the block. Throw your nades. Because these guys have a... Oh, it worked. It didn't work. It did not work. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, I mean, oh. Oh, are we going to win this? Oh, mm, nope. Of course the snipers get in. Okay, so the snipers, they don't move. They're not moving. So I think what we need to do is we're going to build this right here. And we're going to go ahead and put these guys, like, over here. And I, I'll, I'll move you. No, no, I can't. What? Okay. I can't move you, apparently. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This, this is kind of confusing. These guys, it makes sense. We have to take care of them somehow, in some way. And again, I think it's just the luck base. We need a sniper. I mean, not not a sniper. God damn it. Uh, we need one good. Ah, why do I keep saying gird? No, one good sniper. Fuck me. God damn it. Nade. That's all I was trying to say. One nade. We need one good nade between these three guys, and then they're dead. They're done. We're good. We don't have to continue. But these guys, the Musketoons, I don't know how to really take care of them. Without there being really a, uh... Yeah, no, that didn't work. I did see something, though. Uh, let me keep units, defense. We're gonna move these guys just a little bit further back. That first nade seemed to really work. Yeah, like that, see? Ooh! Ooh, that's a good nade. Oh, God, yes. Oh, no, not not okay. <laughs> not good, not good. Oh, no, they focus on him still, though. So he needs to be, like, right there. He needs to be... Yeah, he, he just needs to be the full-on center of attention. He cannot die, and he died. But one one good nade is all we need. One freaking nade. Oh my god, it was so it was so close, everyone. It was so close. Okay, we'll do it again. We just need a little bit we just need a good nade. Throw one nade at that crowd of musketoons and we're so alive just a little bit. Just a little bit longer. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on. We have to make sure he doesn't get sn Like that, we have to make sure he doesn't get sniped. Move it slightly to the left. There, perfect. We just need one fucking nade. That will just be perfect. Oh my god. It just, it's never good enough. It's never good enough. Damn it, it was so good. It was so close to being it was so close to being good. That's what I was trying to say. Uh oh. I honestly don't think we can move the blocks. I mean maybe we could do something like this. Maybe this could help the guy just a little bit. Move it slightly back. Is that it does work. Okay. We'll do that then. Oh, good nade, good nade, come on. Of course, though, of course. See, I don't, I don't get this. Don't, don't move. Don't do that. Maybe, okay, I'll do this. Maybe if I do something like this. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to provide this guy with cover. And he's not really getting that. That's the, that's the problem. So, like, we'll put him here. But then there has to be a distance where these guys don't snipe this dude. These three guys have to be preoccupied with him. He throws one nade. These guys come in. 
Boom. Yes, we did it. Holy crap. Victory, you beat all the Grenader challenges, you've unlocked a new weapon, hell yeah. Oh my gosh, it feels good. Oh, screw that, we're not, we're not doing this. We're not doing this anymore. I, I want to quit, please, get me out of here. Alright, so we, we did it, we got a, uh, the cluster grenade explodes into smaller grenades after a set time. Wait, wait, hold on. Small grenades have a reduced AOE. That's fine by me. That is awesome. We finally did it. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Because, one, the, the challenges are a whole lot more difficult. And they take a lot longer. So I'll do the rocket challenges tomorrow. But anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a wonderful day.